crazy. Look at that chat. That was weird. Filters, coils. So much trash on my bench. La 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 la. Hey, Mr. Baker, Nico, Stockholm's Onkel, Tucker. Hello, Onkel. Not a name I'm familiar with. Okay. Um, I'm supposed to do a 1466 here, and I just whoops, did not show that on the screen. Um, but I've got to quickly try and get this 6S backlight sorted out. I was thinking I'd do it tomorrow, but. I kind of want to get it out of my hair now, so that I don't get plagued with dreams about how I did things wrong. Been fighting with this one all night, and I thought, nah, just leave it till the morning, but I can't do that. I probably should, but I can't. Okay, let's put that aside. Hey Ed, uh, Soda Margarita, hello. Arnold G, you're welcome. Paul Howes here to make sure I to put things the right way up. 3X and Pedro, well, of course Pedro's here. Yeah, sorry Pedro. And Mr. Hook's here. Uh, let's see, I've got to get another 6S board and steal a freaking glass diode from it. I don't want to hurt you. You're a decent looking board by the looks of it. I gotta be careful I don't just start stealing bits from boards that didn't need. That see, like this one's got mine written on it. Mine to keep from 2018 March. Yeah. That's a long time to keep it and not use it, Paul. Do you have the diode on you? You're not even a, you're a six, a filthy six. Do you have the diode? You look like you're broken. Almost all of these are broken diodes, I doubt. I suspect. You don't, but. Damn it. I don't have enough success boards in my life. Now the diode I'm after is the glass one for the backlight, which is the support diode, the second sort of channel, not the primary one. And I've been having a nightmare of a time with this job, because what would happen is it'll boot up, it'll get to about, um, let's see, well that was your glass diode, you're a 6S plus aren't you? I thought you guys had one. Anyway, it would, um, hey, Dave Legault. Can you with him? It would boot up, and then in about a second from after booting up, it'd just black out. And it would stay blacked out until you shut down the whole damn thing. Yeah, you. One of you, that's what I want. I'm pretty damn sure that there is the diet I'm after. I have to find out. Hey, Andrew Hughes. And me. Six S. Plus. Pretty sure this is it. D four oh two one. Yippity yep, that's the one. Okay. Hey, World Tech Fix, how's it going? 
Uh, anyone know, by the way, if somebody did a, um, someone famous or something like that did a push out of my channel? Because as of about, I guess, 10 hours ago, my subscriptions has just gone crazy high. Okay, not crazy high, but like another 200. And the views are all up and everything, so it's either that or it was just YouTube's algorithm finally deciding to uh, favor me in the odds. Lewis posted a comment of lack of videos and did a referral. What do you mean a lack of videos? A lack of his own videos or what? Hey, Shang Shisi. Ni hao. Now, I've not been getting a chance to do my Chinese lately, and I'm very disappointed at that because I put a good three months of work in it, and I feel it's slipping away. I was trying to read some Chinese on a packet today, and I realized I only recognized maybe one or two of the symbols, and so I was upset about that. I need to get back into it. Come on, 380 and 30, come on, you can do this. I'm trying to be really careful with this diode because I do have a notorious habit of just fracturing and dying. I think I'm going to need some more heat. It's in a, obviously a... He has no work, so he sent them to you. Oh, what? How can he have not have any work? I thought his business was overflowing with mail-in jobs. You might not have walk-in, but you should have mail-in. And this is the way you roast the board in the evening. There we go. Took your time, buddy. And the more interesting thing is when you misplace the customer board. <laughs> Whoops. Nope, definitely not you. Not you. Just put that diode down. Yeah, not good idea losing the customer board on your desk. Oh, okay, alright, so it was Lewis. Oh. Well, I suppose I should be happy about that. I'm kind of... was kind of hoping it'd be someone else. But, I guess I've got to accept that there's only a few people that love me. Okay, this is going to look a little bit uh, shonky for you all, but... Well... That's the nature of iPhone repairs, isn't it now? Hmm. Basically what happened is this iPhone was repaired and then the customer kind of accidentally dropped it and when they dropped it, it shattered, clean broke off this coil here but it also did damage elsewhere it took me a heck of a lot of stuffing around to finally realize it was the fat trace between, oh man, this diode and the capacitor that was playing up. Okay, I just need to put a bit of heat in here to get the flux to flow. But I'm going to back it off. Okay, that's all I need. I'll back it off just now. Because we really don't want the full temperature that I've got going on here. Ah, uh, Richard, I only went up to 440. Now I'm going back down to 380 and 30. Because I really don't want to cook this one. A2ARX. 
a Christian. And let's see. We put our little shield on in the vain hope that we will actually stop something going wrong. I might put a little bit of solder paste down there. There's a nub down there and I've got a feeling it's actually detached. So I'll drop some solder paste into that pit and hopefully it will pick up. Hope. So much of this is based on luck and hope. Okay, that should about do it. Imagine if you had to re-ball with those individual balls. It'd be a little bit ludicrous. Hey, Yankov. Right, there we go. Let's hope to hell we don't botch it up. It's a little bit slower at this temperature and airspeed, but it's pretty hard to cook the CPU loose then. Uh, looks like that's down. Hey, Jimmy Collins from Ireland. Uh, Jimmy, well, in that case, you know, I guess tables are turned, eh? I don't really have much of a clue on uh, iPhones, but yeah, I'll be fine on the MacBooks. This one's a bit of a. Yeah, I see my my rebar connection has dropped down there. Right, hopefully this still works. Hey, Zero Cool, Total Merc, sorry, Toltec Merc, my apologies. Let's see, Zero Cool, just fixed a 1466 of coffee corrosion on the LCD connector, backlight caps next to it, killed the connector and the screen cable. Yeah. So, how do you deal with the screen cable? Did you get a new one? And then take that um, bezel off the front and all that sort of stuff? Are you game enough to do that? It's not something I do. I mean, I have to deal with iPhones often enough that I can do some tasks, but most of the time I just send them down to people like um, Bill down at A1 Mobiles down in Melbourne. The only reason why I didn't send this one down there was because it's already had the job done in the past. And when I looked at it, and it was just this, the coil clean broken off. And I thought, all right, okay, well, I, I can fix that up. <laughs> yep, that was uh, my first mistake. So I put the coil back on, and it sort of worked, but it was a bit dodgy. And in the end, I've basically replaced everything now. So it was a uh, full, full backlight replacement job. <laughs> Hey, we've got no backlight. What the hell? Seriously? Now, that I was not expecting. Because I did have a backlight before. Great. I've made it worse. You wouldn't have been able to see it, but I could see the Apple logo sitting there. 
Uh, Tom Hinckley, obviously the power, uh, what is it? The software I use is whatever one that they have provided. The hardware really was, it's still the 2313 AVR chip. I've done something here. What have I done? Yeah, I generally cannot think of why that wouldn't be working. Damn, well it was working just before. That's the thing. Like, I mean, before I came down to fix up this section, it was working. Oops, better put the shield back on. I mean, I don't really think the shield is absolutely necessary, but I do it out of, I don't know, whatever reason. I'll just pick this diode back off and see what happens. I really should not have done this tonight. I wonder if it actually... Uh, yeah, it's full, come off the damn nub. Crap. Just drop that diode. Evening, Tom George. Well, if push comes to shove, I'll try some other coils from another source. I did try to get a couple of other coils from other boards, but they all tend to explode when you try to get them off, no matter how fast or slow you go at it. Well, they're all glued to the PCB, so when you do take them off, eventually they just lose a, a portion of um, their base. Well, I'll see how I go with this first, because I'm. I definitely know that that has drifted off its nub. And what might have been happening is the diode might have been shorting those two together. Uh, shield. So we'll just re-establish our original situation and then work forward from that. Yeah, I was picking with a blade. I was taking my time. I still have a tendency to come off. It's easy for me to just buy some replacements from people that I know also use them for their daily stuff. That diode needs to be pushed down again. That copper is actually just floating up pretty much on its own. It's not adhered to the bottom. Okay. Crap. See if we at least get the partial backlight back. And if we do, I think I'll just go straight to the 1466 and leave this for tomorrow. Uh, 
let's see. Uh, question, I basically am not at this point. The problem is there's a very high chance I'll get lost and then there's also the ludicrous cost involved in, you know, the shipping cost is just absolutely insane, particularly coming out of Australia. There's surely there's got to be a repair agent in your area. The one way that sometimes people get around it is that they get one of their friends to bring it over, but of course that's not happening much lately with the uh, restrictions. Oh, for God's sake, battery, get in, come on. All right. All right, so we're, we're back to where we were at least, so I'm going to leave it at that and tackle that tomorrow. Rather than uh, push my luck too much further. Sometimes you just got to know when you need to move on to things that you're more capable of before destroying everything. I wonder if Joel is going to be on the stream tonight. Because I have his... Um, I have his MacBook running, his big 17-incher. It's been running for three days now, non-stop. Testing, RAM testing, all sorts of testing, and it's doing well, so I think it's time for it to go home. Uh, Devon, what the problem is, well, what the original problem was has been solved. The original problem was that it would just die after... Pardon me, after a few seconds after it got to the pin passcode entry. That ended up being a problem with the fatigue on that uh, thick trace between the diode and the cap. And once I put the wire, the rebar wire across there, it works perfectly fine. But then what happens is if you try to push the brightness up too far, it will shut down again. I'm thinking it might be because the additional boost circuit isn't coming into play or something is not quite right there. I mean, yeah, maybe it is the big coils, but, uh, yeah. No, I don't have any SE boards, unfortunately. I was looking for one, but I don't seem to have any. It sucks to be me. Okay, let's see, we're going to clean up this a little bit because it's a little fluxy. And uh, MacBooks don't like flux. Wick. It's amazing how much trash builds up every 15 minutes on the bench. to put a comment on the comments section saying when this stream really starts. Otherwise I'll start getting comments from viewers saying it says it's a 1466 repair, it looks like a freaking iPhone, the idiot. Ah yes, I'm feeling the love today from the internet, feeling the love. Yeah, zero cool. Well, distance is a joyous thing. Hey, Steve. Okay. Uh, let's see. The 5S. Isn't the 5S also um, tacked down glue and stuff? Okay, I've just got to take the back panel off this 1466. Once again, there are stickers on the back that would reveal too much. So, 
we have to take it off in secrecy. If I had a real business, I'd have someone else do this for me. Come on. Scratch the nose. Okay. Twink. There I can see trashy looking colours down there. And someone's already pulled that off. Okay, we have a 3437. Looks like it's had some sort of liquid damage, but then I don't know if it's been washed off or what, but it's got the look of some sort of corrosion going on there. Anywho, let's get the battery out to make it easier for it to work on. iPhone was the appetizer. Wow, good point. Clears the palate like a fine apple should. Well, that doesn't look too bad. My fancy pants stickers so that I don't lose things as easily. The amount of work that you got to do to stop yourself from doing dumb things, it's quite impressive. Now, I could test this to make sure that it really is a backlight issue and everything, but like I said, I can see discoloration over here. So we've either got a blown driver or a blown feedback trace, something like that. And we may have some extra presence on the other side that uh, need a bit of janitorial work. Because it's fairly rare that these things are just a backlight driver. There's usually something else waiting for its own time to be attended to, but the uh, backlight gets the triage priority because you can't see a damn thing. 3437 Arnold G. You can tell because it's got the wider connector here. If you play that game when you're watching Lewis's streams, as soon as you see the wide connector, you know it's a 3437. Yeah, I'll show you a 165 as a comparison. And what's the bet I'm just going to pull out? Ah, oh, come on, man. Give me a 165. Huh? 3437? Wow, fancy that. Ah, here we go. We have a winner. Alright. So, 3437, 165. It's the easiest, fastest way of telling from a distance. Bit Midler style. I'm actually up pretty late. I know I used to be one for starting at midnight, but these days, not so much. EFI chip is different size as well, but of course you can't tell that on just opening it up. The 165 does have the smaller EFI chip. Physically smaller. We're ready to go? No, we're not. The screen connector looks okay at the top, so that's a good thing. And I've got a screw in here that I need to 
remove using a driver and not brute force and not throw it onto the damn magnet are oh, you lousy mongrel there you go and we are free hey alan willescroft um, the PlayStation, no, I wasn't able to fix that. That was an APU fault. I was able to push down on the top of it and it would work for a while and then just when you think you're going to get away with it, it stopped working. So I lost money on that one. But uh, I suppose it gained experience. Yeah. Okay, we have a Apple refurbish board because we've got this yellow sticker here. Uh, what am I talking about? White sticker? Hello, Paul. You know, white sticker like that means it's been through Apple refurb, most likely. Uh, I'm not even going to try and do a reflow on the PS4. No, that's, I just said to the person, go get another one. They're cheap enough. This could be a trace failure. Where's my cleaning brush? Ah, there it is. Uh, that does look like actually it's got some liquid has flown over on the top right corners there. We'll just go over the board and have a look in general. Brushing our way. It's always a concern when you're dealing with a refurbished Apple board because you don't know what the fault was previously. So you don't know whether you're dealing with the botch job repair on top of the new fault or not. It's not to say that all the repairs are bad. I mean, most of them do seem to survive. But some of them can come back and haunt you. Like your own repairs, actually. Hey, any triple five? Hey, Richard, how you like? Ho Holy Oak. Why did I have a hard time saying that? Holy Oak. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, well, that's some nasty corrosion there. Interestingly, not really related to the backlight, but. That's what I was talking about with regards to secondary damage. Uh, but we do have something interesting here. It appears to be a part knocked off. Right there. It's not an important part. But it's a part nonetheless that should be there. And it's been physically knocked off. So it's not good. That cap could be completely cactus. We may have blown the backlight fuse. Oh man, someone took, yeah, someone butchered that. Damn, why, how do these people do this? How do you butcher that? I mean, come on. What did they just like go, yeah, and then, yeah. Maybe it was Apple's fault. Now, I know it's frustrating when I, you, seen me find the fault or what looks like the fault and I keep going back over things it's just the way I prefer to do it I like to take stock of what it is that I'm dealing with in case something later on pops up it's not working properly and I'm thinking why then maybe I can find out because I've taken a chance before I got started to have a look around that's a pretty nasty uh, bit of corrosion there deep Deep like the cavities in my teeth. Hey Nick Basie. Hey Michael Chen, how are you? Yeah, Richard, it uh, just sort of throws the mind a bit for some reason. Okay, yeah, that's shorted. That's what the problem is. Often you do get this sort of surface corrosion on these caps and you think, oh yeah, it's not too much of a problem. But this one has a particularly insidious look about it. So yeah, that's shorted. Or at least it seems to be. It could be wrong. 
Let's find out. Yeah, the LP8550 didn't look much very good either. You're right. I can't actually say that that cap is really shorted because really it could be the LP8550. So, yeah. Uh, now you can tell that I really am working late at night and I've got the iPhone 6 nozzle on here, which I do not want. Hey, Pro Engineer. How's it going? It's Sudi is here. How was your day? Ah, it's been a busy day, but not really a profitable day yet. So hopefully I can turn this around. I've got a couple of iPhone issues that are plaguing me. Oh, I hate these quick nozzles. Really, everything else pretty good on the quick, but the nozzles are just notoriously yuck. Hey, Claudini. America struggle the most. You got the pronunciation right on your first, on your second attempt. Oh, lucky me. There's just something about the composition of the um, the name that seems to toss the brain out of control. Oh, I haven't put. I actually don't have an explicit problem with the COVID app, but um, I don't see it really achieving what it needs. So there's probably not going to be enough um, people participating in it. So I guess I'm part of the problem. Uh, it's probably still going to be shorter because of the control, uh, the drivers. No, it's not. We really did get a shorter cap. That was, I will openly admit now, that was pure luck. No, that's not shorter. Either. Yes, it is. Yeah, that was pure luck. But it is pretty messed up. But that section there is the messed up section. That's where it's shorting in. But we probably would be smart to replace that driver as well. Rather than just sort of going, oh no, she'll be right, mate. Hey, Carl. Hey, Werner, Lemon. Definitely not changing to the Atten. Fuse is blown as well, is it? That should be a nice beep, but we're not getting a nice beep. So the fuse is gone. Which doesn't surprise me if that cap shorted. Let's change our soldering iron. Ah, ZX is here. How's it going, ZX? Been a couple of weeks, I think, since I last saw you. Excuse me if my memory is faulty. Yeah, well, it is a hospital room. It's a hospital for Max and other victims. Some would say it's a torture room, but I think that's just purely subjective. Yep, yep, yep. Good on your fuse. Just, just grab onto everything around you. I can't believe I'm using chisel tip again. Yep, you did a dumb thing there, Paul. I know, what am I going to do? I've shorted the pins. I have to throw the whole thing away now. When I was young, that was sort of how most of my electronics work went. Yeah, I should really be using the K tip for this. Are you for Mac euthanasia? Ah, oh. 
Yes, I think if a Mac has decided to show that it really does want to depart, then I am willing to put it out to pasture and harvest its organs. Chris Longscrew? Uh, is, that, is that Chris Long's thing now? He does the long screw damage, does he? How appropriate. Scratch that back. Most of the time these little caps are for noise control so that the boards can pass the various um, you know, FCC regulations or whatever. Hey Dot Music! Ah uh, yes, uh, Lewis does have a habit of rambling my name a lot. Usually with some disparaging adjectives associated with it. But sometimes not. Depends on his mood of the day and how good his board views are going. Uh, that should about do it. Hey, non repair. Alright, so we're going to take off this backlight driver. I figure if the fuse blew, then it's probably not a bad idea to do that. They're cheap enough, they're quick enough, they're easy enough, just do it. It's kind of like the Tri-Stars of iPhones. My tweezers get impatient, waiting for the opportune moment. There we go. Chances are it's probably alive, but maybe it could have been weakened inside. I have a 1465. Uh, dot music, is that a 2012 or a more reasonable 1314 one? If it's a 2012, then they can be a bit gnarly. But like with the 1466, once you get into the 2013 onwards, they're actually very nice machines. Just not many people use the 1465. Nothing's explicitly against them, just they didn't really find a market, I think. Oh, Nick. Oh, man. Not to mention I've got my wife, too. It'll be 20 years this year. And I didn't quite get all that sold of her. Not that it really matters. There we are. Got it properly now. 213A of the i7. Oh, well, that's a fine one, yeah. Can't see any problems with that. Best buddies, huh? Lewis is what I would call the world's best, or one of the world's best, high-class um, users of software. If you ever want to test your software to make sure it works in extreme conditions, just find a way to get Lewis to use it, and he will find a way to completely ruin it for you in ways that no one else will. He'll ignore all the instructions, and it'll just ramble on, get aggro at your software, 
make you feel really small and angry with him. So yeah, he's a fantastic user. A love-hate relationship, indeed. He loves to hate me. As long as he doesn't call me mate, I will accept things. But if he should ever utter the word mate when talking to me, it's like, G'day mate. Okay, you can get away with that. But if he goes mate, I think he's going to be in trouble. Never ever call an Australian you don't know mate. They go, oh mate, because really what it's telling the other Australian, the other person is that you're about to commence some sort of suck up routine to him. Needs rotary dials to be Rossman approved. Oh, that's actually not a bad idea. But yes, that is Lewis. He's a serial abuser. And I guess I just need counselling. Just kidding, of course. We get along just fine. Calico wall, yes, I'd imagine it would be the same. It's part of it's because it's so presumptuous. And of course, you know, the other part of it is the fact that you know it's because it's gonna be a suck up. Or they're trying to actually put you down. Yeah, if they like go, mate, your software sucks. You know, I can't even say it another way. These, the people that abuse it, the professionals that are abusing it, they can do it just with their eyes shut. Anyway, that, um, that driver went on perfectly well. No harm with that. And we just need to put the cap back on, the fuse back on, and that little cap back on. Yeah, sorry, Paul. Uh, didn't give you a chance to have a squawk. You may send your submission for um, hurt feelings to device null. Oh, wait, this is the 3437. Great, and I'll pull out a 165. What are the chances of that? Uh, Jim, yeah, Jim's very good with the vernacular. That is a really crap looking pair of donuts. Good God. Come on now. I mean, I know you don't expect things to look perfectly, but yeah, this is what I consider appropriate level of um, look. Oh, Margarita, you must have a different marriage to me. We're just getting, uh, we're getting warmed up still. We're still going. We're all good. And the fun thing is, we've actually been living together for the whole time. In the sense of, neither of us work away from home. So, for the last 20 years, we have essentially been in quarantine with each other. So, when this whole COVID-19 thing comes along, and people are p posting up memes about trying to survive with their partners and stuff like that. We're kind of like, well, we ain't got no troubles with that. That's our normal daily life and we're perfectly good with it. I guess it varies between people. But yeah, for us, we're lucky. This is, this is daily life for us, avoiding humans in general. And when we redo the place and we redo the fencing and all that, we're going to have a bank teller type face on the fence so that people can't just come up and annoy us. Like today I had uh, someone come up and I wanted to drop something off. 
and I messaged him prior and I said, you yeah, leave it in the metal box outside the door, hit the doorbell, and I will come out and collect it after you're gone. So they hit the doorbell and I think, okay, they put it in the metal box, but nope, they're just sitting out, well, they're standing out in front, they're in front of the door, waiting for me to open up the door so they can chat to me. I'm like, this is not how it works, buddy. And they go for the door handle, <laughs> and it's locked, of course. So it's pretty funny when they like go kick, 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 because it's a screen door. I said, I'm not, I'm not opening up, sorry. I said, I'll send you a message when I know what I'm doing with your machine. Mark Bianco, thank you very much for that. That's a solid coffee and a bit of cat food. And maybe some ice cream if I'm naughty. Uh, I was a bit naughty. I didn't um, properly clean that pad. Oh well. The only door should be for cats. Well, and as it is, the cats will never go out that door. At least not to the open. We do have them all properly enclosed here. No wandering cats here. Some flippin' bastard stole the fuse. Well, it looks like that one's got a fuse. Yeah, it's sort of a window shop. Yeah, I think that's going to be the great thing about, about COVID-19 is that I can now get away with that sort of behaviour forevermore. If people complain, I just say, oh, I'm sorry, I'm just protecting myself here. I mean, most of the time, what do people need to talk to you about? It's like, they should have given you all the information you need job submission before they drop it around but some people do like to just chitter chatter and I do not the only time I like to chitter chatter is when I'm on YouTube here and I can decide to just turn off YouTube at any second if I want Hey, you see my Zephyr? Where is he? I can't see him. Ah. Come on. I probably should check to see that fuse was okay. Better yet. I've got to learn... I've got to remember to buy these fuses from Element 14 next time I make an order. Every single time. Ever got a Dell laptop that only powers when you reset the BIOS? Uh, no. I haven't. But I have had a Dell that was completely dead. Everything dead. And all it was was just the BIOS battery. Hey, CMI Zephyr. How's it going? And that's what we want to hear. The glorious sound of electrons freely flowing. I think we're done. Oh, wow, my nose is just... I must have been snorting too much flipping grass seeds or something. Oh, my electric mower and electric whip snipper, they're doing really good. Uh, it's only an 18-inch mower. My petrol one is a 21, 22-inch for the larger areas that I do but I found with the lightness of the 18 inch mower it was just dead easy to go through the large areas no trouble at all I think I ended up less fatigued than what I, what I am normally at the end with the, 20, uh, the 22 inch so I'm probably going to buy the 21 inch version of their electric mower but I'll have to get a 4 amp hour pack for that because the 21 inch will obviously have a greater um, current load due to the swinging the greater mass. But yeah, I'm really happy with them. The only one area where they're a bit weak is that they set the RPM of the cutting uh, wheel or whatever, yeah, the blades based on the load on the blades. And that's fine if you've got normal, sort of reasonably thick grass. But 
at this time of the year here in Australia, you end up with all these like single stalk pieces of grass everywhere. You need a high blade speed to cut them out, but uh, they don't really actually impose any sort of load on the mower. So the mower's going along doing all the lazy speed, and you're like, man, I really wish I could just hit a button and put it into turbo mode. You can do it with the whippersnipper, but not the mower. So that's a minor oversight. But other than that, I'm really happy with it. Uh, what I'm not happy with is the fact that I've just put flux on that connector. Yucky yuck. And if this works, then I am done. I do have another job, but I'm saving that for tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> Grass things that you hear. <laughs> Whoops, got a keyboard and stuff. Oh, fortunately with this keyboard connect, so you can't even work properly now. No, they've mangled that. We have to fix that. Fortunately with the keyboard connector, we can replace that very easily. First step is to remove this. It is trickier than the other ones. Uh, hopefully I haven't actually just made a fool of myself here and said that I can do something that I actually can't. What? Oh yeah, that's right. I just realised this one's a top grab and pull. Come on. Damn it, I think I'll do this tomorrow. <laughs> I just need to get that in now. Actually, I didn't really. Paul is talking to himself. Alright, get the software up and running. Turn on the power. We actually have a proper power supply display unit, unlike the hack job that Mr. Rossman uses. I've offered him to improve it but uh, well as I was saying human software don't get along hey Infomedia Tech I see you finally caught one I saw you complaining in one of the comments in the last one that uh, you weren't catching many well it's gone black so that's a good start we're just waiting for the folder now What's the bet this doesn't come up and it's just going to be a nightmare? Should have come up by now, buddy. Oh, there you are. Just a bit of a, bit of a slow one. Alright, so we're good. Tape it down. No, we won't do that. I'm just going to see if I'm pretty sure that I can get away with just swapping the... I'm actually still shocked that they broke it. You should be able to just peel these out. Yeah, they should just peel out. These ones are the easiest ones because you flip them up like that and you just pull them towards the camera. But these ones you should be able to just lift up and they peel out. Let's see if we can try that without making an embarrassment of myself. Uh, look, that is running uh, Valley, Valley GPU test. Yep, here it comes. Yeah, just like that. Job is that this one ended up in a real mess. 
So it's probably going to be more work to actually clean it than it is to put the new one in. Kind of wondering how they managed to flip this around though. It's almost like that one was connected somehow. My super finds. Did you? Oh, no, I didn't see Harold's question. Sorry. Going back, going back, going back. Harold, where was your question? Oh, did the handful of chipmunks USB testers ever get to you? That's a good question, actually. I'll have to check. Uh, half my brain says yes, they did. The other half of my brain says no, they didn't. I'm going to have to check that now. Damn it. That's kind of embarrassing because... Uh, didn't I make a comment or uh, Damn. Sometimes you can lift this tab up and just shove things out the front like that. Oh, well, didn't shove it, but I did break it. God, what a pain. And it's just getting worse and worse. Honestly, this is like watching Nailed It. Ah, uh, for flip's sake. There we go. Blur. Well, I am kind of curious, actually, how this was constructed, because it seems somewhat different to the other one. Which makes me wonder whether it will actually hold... Hey Jim, yeah, you're, you're right about that, Harold. Kind of like USB connectors, my god. So many people say to me, oh, can you just change the USB connector for me? It's broken, my kid broke it. And we're like, yeah, I have had a big no on that. Yeah, that's probably not going to fit in. No, uh, there's a different bugger. Damn it. I broke it and now I'm going to have to fix it. Because yeah, that does not, that's not the same. Bugger. Yeah, we can get the connectors at element 14, but... Uh, so obviously that one was a trap type assembly. Was this one's a... Well, I was thinking uh, it was a friction fit. It certainly came from a friction fit one. Soul to the donor. No, man. It's just that it's another bit of thing for me to do. So much rage. Actually, no, I've buggered that one too. 
when I pulled it up, it shattered all of its bottom ones here, like that. There it is there. So it looks like I'm going to have to actually replace the whole frickin' thing. Well, tech fix, I cannot do that. It just, I cannot do that. There are certain standards that I have to maintain in order to be able to sleep at night, and that would fall below that standard. Even though you are technically correct, which I always consider to be the best kind of correct, it unfortunately would not be the I can sleep correct or I can build the customer correct. Okay, where the heck did you come from? That is the second time now I've seen that piece. What is this? It's a piece of rubber. It's, it's coming out of here somewhere. Oh, maybe it's in this joint down here. Yep, that's where you belong. Okay. Alright, keyboard connector. Damn it, I wanted to go to sleep. Uh, so not fun. Could you please fast repair? Nope. I don't even know what fast repair is. Think you mean, could you please hurry up for the repair? I don't know. What, do, what are you actually trying to say? Ooh, pretty. Looks good enough. S Splooge it up. No pickling on this one. Oh, man. Hot air to the eyeballs. That's a sight. Ah. Lung saver. Uh, this really doesn't want to come off. Uh, Marios, this is just a kitchen, general kitchen 
heat mat, silicon cooking mat. That's all. Nothing more. Nothing fancy. Yep, as Wayne says, a baking pad. Very straightforward, simple. You ever use an Apple BQ2419 charged and a C chip? Yeah, not that I'm aware of. backlight connector there. Okay now the trick here is that well the damn connectors on the side here so we're just going to melt through them. And that's a bit naughty because it actually ruins just soldering iron tip. Melting plastic is kind of like hot sugar on your own teeth. Very bad. It creates cavities. Lots and lots of cavities. This is one of the few times I will partake in caveman style destruction. This is not a normal thing for me. I've got to go along and uh, drop some wick onto that. The reason why you've got to wick it is because otherwise it just won't sit flat. And in this particular instance, because you can't really you can't really um, reflow the connector, you basically have to get it flat first time out. Says, not very often I have to engage in that sort of brutality, but every now and then it is called upon as required. Like you, if you see me take JTAGs off, you, I'm a far more um, gentle person than that. <laughs> Mate's laptop was butchered by a bad repair shop. Bad shop repairer. Use compressed cardboard strips to force ribbons down. Wow, okay. Damn. Hey, JD Revilla. Yeah, I think the JTAG removal is a little bit... A little bit showmanly. Understandably, the audience wants it. It's kind of like... Watching the gladiator. Um... He just rips them apart with his big tip and then he raises his hands and looks around and asks, are you not entertained? Yeah. Damn it. Okay. A smidge. Just a smidge. That's more than a smidge. Half the problem here is that the the tip for this soldering iron is too big. It's got enough heat, but it's too big. Whereas if I use one of the other tips, they're the right size, but don't carry enough heat. So what we do is we use a bit of hot air to help us. Not a lot of hot air, just enough. It's sort of like around about 250 centigrade. 
So it's not going to melt plastic, but it does a very good job of helping us stick this connector down. So this little micro pencil tip, it's just not enough to get in there and make things happen. And in saying that, what does it do? It gets in there and made things happen. Lying little schmuck. <laughs> well, proved myself wrong. Hallelujah. <sighs> Extreme prejudice. Yes, that's a... Where did that term first come from? I remember hearing it... Oh, son of a... Well, that wasn't good. I no, really do need the heat. The reason why that happened is because the flux has gone cold. And... Well... When it went cold, it brings up everything. Yeah, that really wasn't good. The reason why that wasn't good is because basically that caused these pads to lift. Now, they're not electrically active. But you do still want them to sit down on the board. Because they are load bearers. Yeah, he, Lewis would say a lot of things. Now the mistake I made here was not flipping this up before I started doing things. So we're going to have to work in a little bit close. Hey, what the? So, tack down some... Now what I'm hoping for here is I'll be able to get enough tack down that I can lift that tab. Yeah, let's see if we just go for it. Now, I was lucky that um, one of my regulars here actually sent me the tip, which was, I mean, the um, handle, which was very unexpected, very generous. It has taken me a while to come around to using it. I can see its value. I can see that it can get overused and bent but I am very happy with it it definitely comes in handy on the iPhones hey Zero Cool, thank you it was Apocalypse Now I haven't actually seen that movie it's the one with Tom Cruise in it, right? well maybe I have seen it I don't know I only just watched Pri Saving Private Ryan for the second time in well, since it's come out last night I found that a very difficult movie to watch in a certain couple of scenes. Oh, that looks pretty enough. Let's warm it up so the flux isn't super thick and then scrub it out I was about to squirt isopropylene straight into the hot air flame. I could have had myself a flame flower. That would have been entertaining. The real clean will be done in the ultrasonic. This is more just to get rid of the bulk of the junk. I think we're good. Hey, Jamich. Is it Yamich or Jamich? Or Hamich? Hamich. 
Robert Duvall, Martin Sheen, and Marlon Brando. Oh, okay. Which one was one? Tom Cruise. Uh, Tony W. I don't watch Free to Air or anything like that. I was just watching on Netflix. Uh, Gallipoli, yeah, they've always got it. I thought that was just traditional that they always run Gallipoli on Anzac Day. I mean, I know that one's got, uh, well, yeah, Mel Gibson. The biggest thing I remember of Gallipoli, of course, is the oxygen theme yeah, from Jean-Marc Jarre. That stuff makes the hairs on the back of my neck go up. Alright, that's good, that's done. 4th of July, thank you very much, yes. Guru, I am going to go the speed that I am going to go. I am not here to uh, respond to requests of how I'm going to do my rate of repairs. The repair I do is the rate I do. It's just the way it is. If you want faster repairs, then I suggest you wait till people finish doing the repair and then they edit the video so it's quicker because that's... I'm not going to speed things up because that's how mistakes happen. You rush. I mean, it's already tricky enough having a live discussion while repairing things. And it's like having an annoying co-worker, except instead of a co-worker, I've got 200 annoying co-workers and backseat solderers. Okay. He's already banned. Damn, I didn't get to have my final say, eh? He stole it from me. Now I've got to test to see if the keyboard works. Uh, the last thing I want to do is send this back and the keyboard does not work. Yeah, I think if you start trying to accommodate to what people are requesting, it's just a slippery slope to failure. I mean, in general, people will come to watch you for what you do, and if they don't like it, then they don't watch, and hey, that's all fine by me. It's been, there's plenty of very popular videos that I don't watch. Okay, it's a little jammed in there. I think the flux is still sitting around. Because yeah, if you do change the way you do things, then you're basically not being the person that everybody else watches you to be. I suppose you could say sometimes there are certain changes you can make to try and help your exposure or your popularity. If you're going to go from, say, 1,000 people to 100,000 people, then okay, you might consider doing that. I think we can turn off the fume hood. Uh, let's see, how am I going to test the keyboard on this? I'm trying to think, I haven't got... You've done it again, Paul. I've taken things I shouldn't take out of this room and I've, well, taken them out of the room. ASD1, ASD2. I think I can run. Uh, 142 on this? I'm not sure. What would you look? 
first if you have an iPhone 6 logo appear for a second when booting the goes off and the backlight is on and working yeah yeah Mitch I'm not really sure about that I'm not really that good with iPhones you want people like Chris Long, Jason, Jessa, stuff, people like that. People who know what they're doing. You don't want some amateur owl person like me when it comes to iPhones. JD Revelli, what is your typical daily hours of repairing? Usually around about eight, somewhere between four and eight, and then after that, there's probably another four hours or four to eight hours administration work after that. Right, someone's got a few too many. Whoops, yeah, a few too many uh, EFIs on here. Okay, the keyboard must partially work at least. Uh, 420 and I uh, can't remember let's have a shot and try big difference between polishing your act and playing to the audience one is honest the other is sure road to boredom for both yes yeah, so I, I think I'm gonna have to yeah I think I'm probably gonna top out of I can't imagine anything more than about 50,000 maybe a hundred thousand there's just not enough drama in my videos. Why would anyone watch a live stream for educational purposes? There's pl pretty uh, plenty of edit edited videos. Yeah, there is. I've got a cough. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, the live streams have their own form of educational effect, but um, in a very different way. Richard, I think it is. Rich, uh, anyone know what the 3437 was meant to boot with? So I'm getting the feeling this one was not the right selection. I do have the MRI, but um, I wanted to use the keyboard, so the MRI doesn't really let me do that. At least not. Can you make the MRI to use the keyboard? Hey, Pernov. Ah, Pernov, just the man I'm after. Which ASD do I run for 3437? Yeah, Andrew, neutral is about what I'm aiming for. As my wife says, she says I'm a filthy neutralist. Everything's grey. Even my shirt's grey. My underwear's grey. My pants are dark grey. I'm always sitting on the fence. And waiting for Pernov to be the guiding light of the... Oh, there's 42 EFI. I think that's what I'm after. 156. 56-ing. You know, good 56-ing bastard. Right, there's no 156 on this one. Must be on this one. Fifty nine, fifty six. Well, I got fifty six OS. Seven. Oh, yeah, I do. Way over there. Fifty six OS. There we go. Uh, like, yeah, the each is a different boot system for testing. And you need to get the right one for the right board, or the pick the right one according to the board that you're testing. And I don't remember anything. Your startup disk is full. Yeah, whatever. We're a little dim here. 
Well, we know the brightness works. Trackpad works. Actually, I was having a talk today with someone <coughs> regarding all like the COVID-19 and then previously the environmental type debates that we're seeing flaring up all over the place. And it seems the world has driven into this concept that everything is like binary, as in, you know, you're either completely for or you're completely against or whatever. Yeah, it's only ever two options. And so we effectively have become a Sith world, at least according to Disney. And it really doesn't work to do things like that. We're also discussing that with the last Jedi movie, fail. What did we fail? Oh, battery uh, on error. Continue. That was just a battery error because there's no battery. As I was saying, uh, you know, maybe Disney, it would have been good, originally I thought with The Last Jedi that they were going to sort of like just forget the old Sith and Jedi orders and simply go down the middle and say, you know, you can actually be both. Stop being such little binary people. But no, the director chickened out on that one. So do they have a keyboard test section here? <laughs> Maybe I can edit something. Edit. No. Logs. No. Oh, there we are. I can search. Work. Seems good. I don't know why, but I love doing this on Mac keyboard is the fact that you can just like run your finger across the keyboard and it seems to handle it just perfectly fine. I try that with some PC keyboards and they just lose their minds. Like, what are you doing man? Why are you pressing the keys like that? You can't do that. Ah, sick fault. Keyboard seems good. Cap locks works. Marvellous. Oops, I hope it's doing it. No, that just shut down. Was that because I I must have um I must have jiggled the cable or something. I hope. Though it has turned off, not turning back on. Oh damn it, that was the sleep test. Damn it. Yeah, well Star Wars lost it before Disney bought it, but it certainly didn't revive it, that's much is for sure. I mean, there's a certain degree of uh, nostalgic romance involved in the original trio and people loving, of course, Empire Strikes Back as if it's the pinnacle of everything. I mean, you've got to fight against that sort of nostalgic romancing with a lot of things, but i got to admit, the next three that they brought out was just, yeah. yeah I, I don't know. I mean, they're obviously making billions off it, so they're going to keep going on with it. Yeah, the sleep test. It catches me out so many damn times. Like right now, I'm looking at it. Are you sleeping? I don't know. <laughs> When I first was doing the ASD tests, I would come along to the computer and I'd see it in a shutdown state like this. And I'm thinking, ah, it's broken, so I'd like press the keys to see if it would respond. And it would, and it'd say, sleep test failed, because I was too quick to come along and wake it back up. Travis, your hair is this long? Yeah, mine's getting there. It's like, yeah... Yeah, it's not as long as I have had it. I've had it down to the small of my back about uh, 15 years ago. Yeah, Doctor Who also. I think the last Doctor Who that I enjoyed was um, Christian... 
I can't remember. The guy who came after Tom Baker. And then after he went, it just sort of started to really unravel. Luke, what sort of, what model Mac did they have to be that clicky and loud? Not that I'm bothered by clicky keyboards. I mean, I love clicky keyboards, but um, I can appreciate if you're trying to sleep or something on a bus or a train or a plane and you, all you hear is click, 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 click. That can become irritating. At the bottom of the test window on the left, you can select the interactive test and have the keyboard and trackpad test say, oh, right, thanks, Carbon. Yep. Uh, things I don't bother to look at. Well, I already tested my keyboard anyway now. Oop. Graphics test. That's fine. I think this is going to be fine. I mean, we'll the little bit of testing I did at the top there showed that everything that I could see on the keyboard was working okay, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Uh, Star Trek and Star Trek, sorry, and Stargate. Uh, don't forget um, Firefly. You gotta have Firefly. And uh, Maui. I know a lot of people don't like the new Star Trek, the Discovery series, but I actually did quite enjoy that. Uh, it was a little bit um, changed from their normal routine, but for a mindless sort of sit back and pass the evening away type series, I was quite happy with it. Uh, they did kind of push the social agendas a fair bit in it, uh, the whole equalities and stuff like that, and you're kind of like, oh. Not that I'm against those things, it's just more a case of sometimes when they push it so hard, it sort of makes it become somewhat distasteful, and you find your audience actually rebels against trying to achieve. So, yeah. Picard is awesome. I haven't seen that yet. Babylon 5, long time since I've heard or seen of that. I remember it being the pinnacle of uh, Amiga rendered graphics. Do you remember that aspect of it? Okay, Mr. Lemon, thank you for dropping in. Always appreciate it. Well, we're pretty much done here anyway, so, and it is quarter to one in the morning, so probably time for me to head on back upstairs and. Uh, get ready to get some sleep, which means I'm going to go into my bed, take my MacBook with me and watch something on Netflix or Stan, or maybe YouTube, who knows. Maybe I'll sort of skulk around the comments a bit and pretend to be someone I'm not. Seems I seem to be the only person who like SGU, Stargate Universe, I think that is, right? I never really got into the Stargate thing, so uh, yeah. No ice cream for me, I'm afraid, but uh, I will have yogurt, so it's good enough. And an honest repair sold the Dell. Good job. What was it? Did you watch Stay Alive Netflix season two? Nope. Yeah. All right. Okay. I'm out of here. Thank you everyone for watching. A bit of a mixed stream, but um, appreciate it. And might be seeing you all tomorrow. So maybe another 10, 12 hours time. I'll have a 1502 to fix. Uh, maybe some others, but. We'll see how we go. Might even be able to get that 6S backlight issue fixed, or I might just forget about it and find a replacement board for the person and move everything over to a new board instead. So I'll catch you all later. You take care. See you tomorrow.